Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nope. And today I am going to give you a quick video on a uh, good explanation on why Windows 10 is called Windows 10 and not Windows 9. Now, this is not the official statement, but this is the one that actually makes the most sense. And uh, from a programming standpoint, I kind of agree with Microsoft now calling Windows 10 Windows 10. So, as far as things goes, uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, we had in the uh, past couple of years, Windows 7, then Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and it's going from 8.1 to Windows 10 instead of going to 9, which is kind of weird. Uh, but the reason behind it uh, has to deal with compatibility issues. So let's get real quick in what Microsoft said. Microsoft has been giving out fluff statements saying we we're trying to break from the past or some stupid crap that actually doesn't answer the question. But um, what what I've seen talk, talking to programmers, talking to people actually in Microsoft and other places, the actual reason has to deal with compatibility issues. What's happening is in the previous versions of Windows, uh, Windows 95, Windows 98, uh, there were several different versions of, I think it, for Windows 95, A, B, C, D, and E was Windows 98. Then there was the second version, Windows 98, and so on. So basically what I'm happening is whenever, keep in mind, people use Windows 95 for a long time and Windows 98 somewhat for a long time. Because, I mean, it kind of was iffy then. But Windows 95 was used for a really long time. And people wouldn't let it go. Remember, computers cost a lot back then, even more so than they do now. So what ended up happening is when someone developed software for a newer computer, they would obviously allow older computers to use it because of money. I mean, if you're going to develop for the newest things, you're going to cut your market by a dramatic amount. So what the developers did, instead of having the person say, I'm running older software, the, the software would just detect it. So what will happen is the software, when it's running, it will say, if version of Windows is 9 wildcard, and um, wildcard is basically anything. It could be literally nothing. It could be infinity. Anything could be there. So Windows 9 could, it could really trigger this program. Windows 9.1 could trigger this program. So anything, so that's something really keep in mind. So if Windows 9 uh, wildcard is true, then do this, else do this. So if Windows 9 wildcard, again wildcard, can represent for zero, uh, I mean nothing, or you know 95, 98, or whatever, pretty much anything because you don't know what the number will be since you don't want to program for each and every one. And um, it will do whatever it needs to do to make it compatible. If not, then run whatever else to make it compatible or to enhance it for the newer version. Simple as that. So if they went with Windows 9, what would happen is on these uh, programs, there are some of them are still being used today because some are really good and um, and some newer programs even use this uh, not so much uh, sometimes people whenever you make programs sometimes you grab code from from your older programs and move it into your newer ones without doing really do cleanup because there's no purpose into it and um, and that happens quite a bit and that's one of the things that the developers of Windows 10 is worried about is that developers are doing that because they actually do. I do it myself, and um, so I can tell you as a developer, I, I do that myself, and I'm not going to sit there and look at each line of code when it's already written, it already works on previous versions and whatnot, unless it like completely doesn't work in the future versions. That's the only time I actually go and look at it and, and go line by line. Other than that, if it works, it works, I'm not going to go back. And sometimes if I've written the code, given out the program in a couple of years or even even a couple of weeks went by, I ain't going back to that program. Um, I'm saying it's broke, deal with it. So 
again what they're worried about is compatibility issues so it's just simple as that um, the if Windows 9 wildcard is this then do this else do that simple as that so anyways uh, if this video has answered your question if you liked it or whatever then please leave a like please subscribe and please share if you do have any questions though feel free to leave them in the comment section or if you want to add any more information to this feel free to leave that in the comment section but um but again leave a like subscribe and share and i hope you have a great day and this has been craig bent from techfusionup.com